Hello. Thanks so much for dropping in. Oh, I think today, indeed, as I roll into position, I will see about digging in to these paddles, but also these glasses that would perhaps help me, I do believe. They need a little screwing. The screws on the arms seem to be coming out. I thought something was broken, but I don't think that is the case. I think the screws were just loose. I think. I'll try them on. Anyway, this is a tiny, tiny, tiny little flathead screwdriver. Of course, without these glasses on, I can't really see as best as it is what screwdriver was really needed there, but that one seemed to work. All right, so I have here a Phillips screwdriver. I will take out the screw. There are only two. My hope is that I can get this all back together. When it's all done. So, this should now come apart. Aha, there's the bottom. Oh yeah, a pretty simple mechanism. And that, don't you be slipping. There's a push button thing. There's a potentiometer. And a little, maybe capacitor thing in there. Basically, a very, you know, there's not much, that much to them, but they got to work. Now, I wonder, because I really haven't done anything, and I'm not finding anything in here. Like, I thought I heard something shaking around, but I don't see anything shaking around. So, maybe this one, before I do any harm... Maybe, possibly. I can get it back into the position where, oh dear. Now that's come off of there. Hello. All right, hang on here. Oh no, things are falling apart. Things are falling apart. Was this glued into position? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. There's a little thing here. All right, what have I done? Oh, I guess that little plastic thing just goes between the connectors. And that holds it in place. And then this little guy... Needs to go inside of the case. And this little guy needs to go there. And now, if I'm very careful, perhaps I can put it back together. So I did not find any thing. Now, I still need to find the cleaner. To make this better. But I know I can't get at that right now. So I don't want to leave this sitting around. Be open. Because ultimately. Something bad will happen. A screw will get lost. A switch will fall. A spring will go sprawling. Something bad. And of course, screw it till it's snug, not till it snaps. You know what? I don't know if I need those on right now. But this one, definitely there's something rattling. And what does that mean? Well, I don't know. But I will find out. Hopefully I can get this one back here. This is the one, as it happens, 
that is needed to make Le Mans work. Remember, I told you about that TV show I was on. Beautiful thing about paddles is Ruth Springford, Canadian legend, she could hold the one paddle and look like she was driving, and I could be off camera doing the driving. Okay, so there's the bottom. Oh, okay, so there is a plastic piece here that has broken off. And what is it for? Where does it go? I don't know. It's not seeming to be... Oh, okay. It seems rather insignificant. It's, it's sort of beside... Probably can't see this because I can't... Anyway. Beside the potent... Oh, dear. Beside the potentiometer, there is this other thing uh, that is there. But I don't think it really serves much of a purpose in being there. So, it really doesn't matter, but I can get it out of there. And hopefully, get this back into position. Maybe I will put this on first, and then see about getting everything into the positioning that it was in. Perhaps. So at least I know why it was making a rattling noise, and it really doesn't matter. But the potentiometer needs attention. Okay, so I will put this in. Now, if this was... Ah! All right, let's not make this worse. I'm going to screw this one screw in so that everything is secure. Once again, snug, but don't reef on it. Oh, I hate losing screws. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Ah, got it. Okay, so, um, yeah, so a potentiometer is a lot like the volume control or the tuning control on a radio. And when they get dirty, they, you know, the, it's where you find on a radio where, you know, you've turned the volume up makes a lot of noise, finds one spot where it sits okay, usually that's too low. They keep moving and it doesn't do any, you know, you don't hear anything. And then finally, you, when you do hear something, it's probably louder than you would like it to be. Now, if this thing was critical, this little thing was critical, I would probably say, oh, well, I better glue that back inside. But it is not. So I'm going to, because it doesn't really matter, I'm going to toss it in the box of things to be looked at, and eventually it will end up being tossed. Maybe in the recycling. Maybe in the garbage. It's just a tiny little thing. Anyway, so this, no more rattle. But I'm sure if I were to try this right now, and this is the one that comes off too easy, so I need to find glue. Um, but once again, now this could come out of here and be replaced if you take and loosen that up. Um, but once I glue it, it's probably pretty much stuck. If I'm going to use it, it probably needs to be glued and kind of put on very carefully to dry. But I'm sure right now, I'll try it, I'm sure what I did did nothing for the performance of these paddles. I tried this before. And it was shaking all over. Oh, maybe I have the wrong paddle. Oh, maybe I have the wrong port. Mm. 
Okay, so. So many wires. Oh, what a mess. Just a moment. I don't want to be dropping these and then breaking them and then saying, oh, well, that was fun. No reason to fix them now. They're broken. Oh, dear. Cables. Wireless things are a beautiful thing, you know. They are. All right, so just imagine we're on the set of a significant CBC production. Oh, I guess the race is over. And this is the beautiful thing about cameras and angles and things is the lady in the scene, the main actress, has got a paddle in her hand. And you can see her. She has a paddle in her hand and she's doing her thing. And I am gently off camera. Now, you see how this is wiggling. Like, it's not doing much there. But it doesn't have the fine tuning that it should have. Now, I'm doing okay. But I'm, uh, I'm assuming... Ah, yeah, see, it, it, it's not. Like, I should have been able to wiggle waggle my way through right now it's 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 no it's got to be uh it's got to be cleaned and i'm dying 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 but on the show where i was standing and i remember she was here and i was off to the right side off camera um it was really good anyway i'm as sure as i can be that once i get there we go. The race is over. As soon as I get the the stuff and I spray it, and I may not even have to open it up. It may be that I can spray it in like I did on the radio from this side and have it go in there and then work it, work it, work it, and give it a test. That is my hope. And then, of course, if that happens... I will glue it. Anyway, so I think what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to find a freezer bag. I'm going to put them in there, which will remind me, maybe I can even write on the freezer bag, that I, what I need to do to them to make them hopefully work again. So, glass is in the bin. That was easy. And screwdriver in the bin. Screwdriver. Indeedy. And just because we can and we're here, this is my Commodore 128 power supply that really is made for a 64 because it came with a 1764 um, RAM expander. I will plug this in and see where we're at. 5.24. Seems to be okay. Quite acceptable. Um, so far, I haven't found one that is defective or scary yet. But I got lots more power supplies to find and check. So, so if you have paddles, uh, don't be afraid to open them up. Just be careful. Don't drop anything, like screws. And chances are, once I find that stuff, I think it's called Renew It or something or other, um, then they'll work well, and I can show better this fine game of Le Mans. Anyway, typically speaking... As long as you're careful, you can open things up and have a look and properly put them back together. And they won't be any worse off. But, of course, if you're not comfortable doing this, don't do it. <sighs> that was easy. So, I guess I'll look for a bag. I've got all these cables to hang on the door. These keys, I am going to go through a little bit. 
can see what I can find that might still be current. That might be current. So maybe I'll take that off. But most of these... Oh dear. <laughs> Excuse me. Are for other things. Cars that I don't have anymore. Most of them. That? I don't know. Does it have the same teeth as that? No, not at all. I don't know. But anyway, I figure for a prop, as I said, I will find a way to incorporate all these strange keys onto something. But this, this, I will check. This could be handy. I will put that in my pocket. All right. So thank you for coming to the world of Commodore as I continue to dissect the pool room, leading to, of course, the pool room being accessible to play pool. That is the plan. So, oh, I, was, I wasn't going to do this, but what the heck. So thanks for coming to the world of Commodore. Or perhaps the Twilight Zone. Bye for now.